practices, including two regional championships, or maybe as the coach of that team with those weird Christmas colored uniforms. <laughs> the rise. However, I also know him as the man who taught myself and the rest of his players much more than just the game of football. He instilled in us the values of hard work and dedication. In order for the team to be successful, each player had to dedicate himself to become the best athlete he could be. Players who devoted themselves to attending nearly all summer workouts were rewarded with a steak dinner. This was known as the pay the price award. However, the real award came when the team knocked off a rival, won a league championship, or clinched a playoff berth. Many wins came against teams that may have had more talent, but in the end, it came down to just who wanted it more. Many coach business players, myself included, got their first real taste of hard work and tested dedication on a warm, muggy August morning, the first week of two days. As we were on what probably felt like our thousandth push-up, coach would be shouting, who wants to go run cross country? Anybody want to join the golf team? Or the always tempting, who wants to go play in the marching band? This question's all of course remembered that without being no. A family atmosphere was a hallmark of any of coach business teams. Each fall, my parents hang a sign from their mantle that reads, we now interrupt this family to bring you football season. <laughs> However, this temporary disruption was well worth the lifelong friendships formed with other coaches and their families, many of which are here tonight. I want to thank each of you for the roles you played in creating our football family. This camaraderie was infectious, with players knowing the team was like their family. For instance, my sister Mandy's senior year, her homecoming day was a player on the team and lived just three houses down from us. One Friday evening before a Saturday night game, Mandy and a few friends decided to walk over to this player's house to hang out. Just as the player opened the door to let them in, coach, dad, opens the front door and yells to Mandy, hey, he has a curfew, you know. <laughs> Obviously, this amount of embarrassment did not deter Mandy from starting her own football family, as she married a football coach. Those poor kids. So, Coach Wisdom, on behalf of all of your former and current players, I want to let you know how fortunate and grateful we are to have played under your leadership and guidance, how lucky we are to call you a lifelong friend and mentor, and personally, how proud and honored Andy, Andy and I are to call you our dad. Congratulations. Uh, Hubie, uh, 
he's a coaching legend himself in, in the area up there. Uh, he was my athletic director when I first came in and got on the staff with us uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, he's in here. He came in from California just to share this with me tonight. Maybe I really appreciate that. I uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Tom Osborne, uh, I was at Ocar. Most, you know, most the majority of my career was at Ocar for 29 years. I had two years before that at Danbury and two years as head coach at Perkins High School in Sandusky. I'm now an assistant also, but Oz was with me 27 of those 29 years at, at O'Carver, a very good friend, uh, was a brother, brother type to me. We argue, we do everything, but uh, <laughs> uh, he was the head track coach there forever, had a lot of success there himself. Um, Terry Harsh is at the back table back there. Terry, uh, when I first came to O'Carver, was, was uh, uh, one of my assistants, he was our defensive coordinator, did a great job, was with me. Uh, for the majority of those years also. Um, for the longest time, I was the youngest guy on my staff. And, and probably the only thing I got going up here, I'm thinking of the youngest guy sitting up here, but I was the youngest guy on my staff. And, and then finally, um, we had some other people come in. Uh, Wayne Simke, Wayne's here, Wayne came, is an O'Carver graduate, uh, came from Sir Dumont Ross, uh, did a great job for us also. Uh, Tim Harwell's at the back table back there. Tim was uh, my boss and on my staff. He was uh, assistant principal, assistant superintendent, all kinds of things, and, and uh, did a fine job for us. And we had a couple young guys come on. Uh, Doug Slagle is at this table here. Uh, Kelly Croy, Kelly standing there taking pictures. He's a photographer for us. Uh, two, two very talented guys. Uh, Doug is still coaching there in Carver. Uh, Kelly does quite a few things. <coughs> Uh, so, uh, again, without them, I would not be standing up here. I got also recognized Bill Freeze. Bill was, uh, was my athletic director there, so through some good years at, at, at Oak Harbor. Uh, Gary Lill is here from uh, my days at Perkins. Gary, appreciate everything he did to me, uh, did for me, I should say, when I went to Perkins. Uh, so, again, uh, I'm very happy that I have, uh, you know, 30 people here, uh, my sister Beth and, and Ian. Uh, the reason I got back in the coach, and he's a college coach with my son-in-law. He's the offensive coordinator here at, at, at uh, Ohio Wesleyan, and, and uh, it, it just watching his games made me want to get back in, so I jumped back in this year as an assistant. But anyway, I appreciate them being here. Like I said, we got a lot of people here. Uh, I got to say, I think, though, that some of them, I'll be excused for them to come down here and go to the casino. But, uh, you know, that's okay, whatever it takes. I appreciate you being here. Again, I'm making this short and sweet. If people know me, I don't, don't speak very long. Uh, you know, again, family's been a theme that's been out here tonight. I keep hearing, and that's what it was at Oak Park. You know, we, again, the majority of my career was there uh, for 29 years. We, we, you know, we won some games. We had a great time together. We had all, most all of us had the opportunity to coach our own children. You know, Adam played for me. All these other coaches, their sons played for us. It was a depth of family atmosphere after the game. We'd end up in my house afterwards. In fact, would, would be the entertainer. Congratulations to those people up here uh, also tonight, and thank you to the Association 